our latest 460 amp hour battery. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Wolfgrid and uh, in this episode I'm going to take you through our very latest battery that we've uh, built out. It is a 460 amp hour 12 volt battery, uh, 200 amp uh, draw or charge rate and uh, yeah, this is about to go out to a customer so I thought I'd take you through in quite a lot of detail the ins and outs so hopefully you'll find that nice and interesting. So it is a, as I said, 460 amp hours. Now, for those who know, you don't get a 460 amp hour battery cell. Uh, the biggest you get are sort of 320 amp hours are the absolute biggest. The, the standard EVE cells that we have in our OPS 300, uh, 300 amp hour batteries are actually 304 amp hours. So anybody who's saying that these are definitely more than 320 you would uh, dispute that because the chemistry just simply doesn't allow it. So in this one we've got eight cells and they are paired up. So this is what is known as a 2P4S. So two cells in parallel and in a string of four. So the, the these are the parallels, so these two are in parallel, those two, those two and those two and then they form a series of four. So one, two, three, four. And as you can see, our main uh, negative terminal is here. Our main positive terminal is here. So we've, in order to conduct, uh, uh, construct a 2P4S, you'll need uh, three bus bars where they, they bridge together there, and then we've got uh, two coming across here. Well, one of the things I really, really like about this is that you've got these nice, neat uh, channels for the balance leads. So come in here, we've got the main negative one and then positive one and two and uh, that gets nicely closed off. And then in the other one, we've got uh, uh, number three and then four, the final one, four and, and the, the one that actually powers the BMS, the two come into the main positive terminal here. Uh, it has two temperature sensors. So we've got one sensor coming here in the sort of uh, front left corner here and then the other one here at the back, back right. Uh, so that's, uh, so that we, when, when the pack is too cold to be charged, it, it doesn't matter which of the temperature sensors hits that, the first one to hit that, the BMS says, well, actually things are too cold now, so I, I cannot carry on charging. The temperature probes are also used for over temperature protection and under temperature protection, but they're, they're quite high values. So I think you've got to get over 70 degrees for the, the whole thing to shut down, um, meaning it's good, just getting too warm. And that just, just in this, as an aside, that is one of the really nice things about the lithium ion phosphate uh, chemistry and the construction of these batteries is because of the BMS with its temperature sensors, there's very little that can go wrong. In fact, there's, there's a stronger probability of something like an AGM having thermal runaway and things going very wrong. I saw a video recently of a poor guy in Australia whose uh, Land Cruiser burned down completely. Uh, he had an AGM leisure battery in that and uh, had thermal runaway and burnt down completely. The two bus bars uh, connecting across here are nice uh, flexible bus bars. We put some heat shrink over. So that's quite nice so that if, if there happen to be some expansion and what have you, then there's this bit of flexibility here. I quite like these bus bars with these raised bits here as well. The cells are compressed in with this metal compartment here. Uh, there are, are nine screws all together that uh, hold this thing uh, in place. It's got nice padding, uh, little foam bits at the end and in between. It's got... Um, this yellow stuff, I'm actually not sure exactly what it is, but uh, in between the cells, uh, this just to separate them so that you'd never have the possibility of the cells rubbing together and, and the two arters shorting with each other. So uh, BMS uh, bolted here nice and firmly. Uh, it has a, an on-off switch here at the front, which I'll show you in more detail shortly. So coming from the BMS, we come to the main negative terminal and then from the BS, again to the external terminal. I quite like these terminals because they have a bit of protection on the front so you can connect You can connect uh, in two places here so you can almost treat this like a bit of a bus bar and then cover that so that uh, you have a reduced prob 
probability or possibility of shorting. Uh, so quite like that. It has the uh, on switch here at the front, so if you hold it in for five seconds, you hear the BMS going off, that's turned it off. That's turned it back on again. And also you have this switch which uh, runs on the positive main terminal. So at the moment that's off if I wanted to get it on, uh, that will turn it on. That's a 250 amp circuit breaker cam switch. Um, so while able to carry the 200 amps that the BMS is capable of carrying, uh, we've uh, paired up 16 millimeters, so just over 30, so 32 millimeters of cabling running uh, from the terminals to the BMS and to the main terminals here. So uh, nice carry handles here on the front, which fold away, as well as some very substantial carry handles here. I think the whole thing just getting a feel for it, I think it's somewhere between 40 and 50 kgs, somewhere around there, so reasonably heavy, but it is probably the equivalent of eight lead acid cells or lead acid batteries. So you, you imagine the weight of eight lead acid, if, if each lead acid is uh, you know, uh, 25 kgs, you've got 200 kgs of batteries. They're probably not quite that, you've probably got about 180 or 170-ish kilograms of lead acid, eight lead acid batteries. Uh, so this being about 40 to 50 kgs is, is quite a nice cut down of weight for somebody who wants uh, 460 amp hours, um, which is a huge amount of storage. Um, so yeah, uh, really pleased with that. The lid, uh, what you would expect, the lid uh, closes it off nicely and uh, that is a really nice secure box that uh, can go into a locker. It's not too high, uh, really nice bit of kit. So yeah, hopefully that was informative and um, uh, we're hoping to sell these like hotcakes. So let's go for it. So if you're interested, there's a link down in the uh, description and uh, any comments and uh, suggestions, we'd uh, appreciate them. Thank you very much. See you in the next episode. Cheers.